Our flashback takes us back 50 years to when Connecticut was a battleground state in presidential politics. Here on News 8, election night 1972 was a big deal. ABC News was anchored that night by Howard K. Smith and Harry Reasoner. It was President Richard Nixon, the Republican, against Democrat George McGovern. Reasoner lived in Westport and talked about Connecticut on election night with a dig at some of the people here. In my own state, um, Connecticut, which is uh, also regarded as mixed because of a lot of reasons. It's got uh, all of the obnoxious commuters in Fairfield County. It's got some fairly rural areas. It's got some depressed industrial areas. We've got a, a look based on uh, ABC's key precincts, which are not complete yet, but enough to tell us something. This is one of the case states where a Democrat almost has to win, uh, at least they usually have. So far, McGovern is carrying the uh, city areas of Connecticut, but he's running behind on the rest of the state. He's carrying, if you speak about cities, you think of Hartford, which is not particularly industrial, and New Haven and Bridgeport, which are. The uh, Democratic Party is in a state of disarray in Connecticut, isn't it? Yes, it has been for a long time, except for uh, Senator Abraham Ribicoff, who is not in a state of disarray. <laughs> You've got one liberal Democratic senator, one liberal Republican senator, Lowell Weicker in Connecticut. There's no Senate race in Connecticut tonight. Well, Nixon not only carried Connecticut, but every state except Massachusetts in one of the biggest landslides in American history. Prom season is winding down and wedding season is getting underway. People haven't partied like this in a long time because of the pandemic. And many women are wearing brightly colored dresses to celebrate. And so are the men. They're taking some leaps in formal wear as well. Oh yeah, dude, they're skinny the tie. Picking out the right tuxedo. It's a rite of passage for teenagers heading to the prom. Oh, 100%, yeah. So I think um, last year our prom was not as great as this one. So I think this year having, um, uh, without the pandemic and everything, um, having no restrictions was great and being able to uh, look good while doing it was an awesome experience. At JT Gamos in Hartford, business is booming these days as Connecticut returns to normal after two years of virtual parties and remote gatherings. It's been a lot of fun. We've been crazy busy over the entire month of April, the entire month of May. Um, it's been a lot of fun to see, you know, how these kids love to bring their person personalities into each and every outfit that we do. Max Gamo is the son and nephew of the Italian immigrants who founded the company. So it's kind of like back to where it was pre-pandemic almost, would oh, you yeah. say? Oh yeah, Abs absolutely. These, all these kids, they cannot wait to get dressed up for the first time. Some of them, it's been their entire high school career. And kids and adults are expressing themselves in a way that hasn't been seen in years. 2022 is hot right now, like in terms of like, you know, you've seen stuff you haven't seen, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, you can, if you, you look at the wall behind us, we're doing a lot, a lot of things with patterns. Turtlenecks have been a crazy popular thing. Uh, almost, you know, super tight, shortcut pants. There's anything that you could imagine as far as pattern and color, these kids are trying to find a way to wear it for prom. Tuxedo shoppers are being influenced by popular shows that take place in the 70s and 80s, like Stranger Things. Some of the styles from those decades are starting to come back. So it looks like big lapels maybe a little bit coming yes. back? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is that is definitely one of those things that has from, taken from the 70s that are definitely starting to come back. Not quite yet with the bell bottoms and that stuff. So what about those ruffled shirts from the 80s that yours truly and others wore? Maybe, maybe one day. Let's hope not. Let's hope not indeed. If you know of a positive story, find us on social media and use the hashtag PositiveVibes8. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us for this week in Connecticut. You can watch us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on WTNH, every Monday night at 9 p.m. on our sister station, WCTX. Coming up next, Capitol Report, Tom Dutchick and crew. Greetings, everyone. Senator McKinney, Speaker Harris Governor Dutchick.